Desire to be healed part 1 a daily devotional message from pastor joseph prasanna kumar greetings to you in the gracious name of our lord and savior jesus christ to undergo pain and suffering is not something that everyone likes we will encounter situations in our daily life where we will need a healing touch today we will meditate on what we need to do if we have a desire to be healed and we will base our learnings from acts chapter 3 acts chapter 3 and verse 2 reads and a man who had been unable to walk from birth was being carried whom they used to set down every day at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful in order for him to beg for charitable gifts from those entering the temple grounds the devout jews had the habit of praying at least 3 times a day morning noon and at dusk peter and john were entering the tape temple for the morning prayer and there was this man who was at the temple gate seeking alms we do not know how long as in the number of years but we do not but we do know that this man was lame from birth the bible records that the lame man was carried to the temple gate every day further details are not recorded but we can safely assume that this is where it stopped at the temple gate his spiritual life was limited to coming as close to the gate of the temple and that was it acts chapter 3 and verse 4 but peter along with john looked at him intently and said look at us this is a very interesting statement look at us very often we come across people who seek arms at that time our practical reaction or the typical reaction is to avoid looking at them or getting into conversation for with any of them even if we do speak to them the maximum we may speak is a few words indicating that we cannot give arms to them whatever may be the individual reasons now imagine if a someone comes to a person who is seeking arms and looks intently at them to top it if we say look at me imagine the reaction of the person seeking arms i am sure that person would be expecting a windfall in terms of money acts chapter 3 and verse 6 records but peter said i do not have silver and gold but what i do have i give to you in the name of jesus christ the nazarene walk after building up a crescendo of sorts peter is telling that man i do not have anything to give you i can only imagine what was going on in the mind of the person seeking arms but i will not contemplate much on it as the bible does not give such details but i want us to focus on the key message in this verse peter is invoking healing on the man in the name of jesus christ of nazareth Dear Lily beloved this is where i would want us to pause and spend some time in reflection in our lives if we need a change from our crippled situation the most important thing that we need is the name of jesus let us see the difference between a difference that the most beautiful name of jesus made in the life of this person seeking arms acts chapter 3 and verse 8 and leaping up he stood and began to walk and he entered the temple with them walking and leaping and praising god consider the changes in this man's life when the name of jesus was uttered firstly a person who was limited to sitting at the temple gate for many years he went into the temple secondly a person who was dependent on people to bring him to the gate of the temple to seek alms who was not able to walk from birth he leapt he stood he began to walk the physical and emotional change in the and in the man and his status dearly beloved we will continue the rest of our meditation tomorrow but as we break for today i urge you to spend some time reflecting on the crippled situations in your life and how the name of god brought in a transformation may god bless you amen let us pray heavenly father we thank you for your word we thank you lord that the bible tells us that the name of jesus can make a difference in our lives today whatever be the circumstances in which the brothers and sisters who are listening to this message are in right now lord we call upon you and in the mighty name of jesus let them experience a healing touch let them jump and rejoice with joy lord in your presence because you have touched and you have made them whole in jesus name we pray amen